Happy Haunt Friday, everybody. We're in Georgia to go to a very unique haunted house experience called Containment. It's called Containment for a specific reason because it is actually built in 26 storage containers. Bigfoot, is that you? I guess these are people that didn't make it out. Fine folks at Containment are going to let me film inside the house tonight. Make sure to get back inside. Make sure to get back inside. Put me on Snapchat too. Absolutely not. Have a good night. Except for you. Ha ha ha! 
make it past her friends. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to become one of us? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So we wrapped up with containment with all the copyright music behind me. I gotta tell you, 100% honest, that was amazing. I hope the video comes out with as good of a representation of what it was to experience this live. Let's go back to an area where there's not so much. I'm back in the hotel after visiting containment. Uh, full disclosure, we make the trip up here annually uh, to be able to visit family and to be able to get to Netherworld. Um, and then we look for other places to hit. Containment I noticed last year, but didn't get a chance to go see it. Um, and then this year, I made it a point of getting out to the haunt. It was a really well done haunt. Um, I was grouped up with three other individuals, although they offered the ability to go solo um, throughout the house. And I do have to thank both uh, Joey and Ray for allowing me to film in the house. That's not something that's typically allowed. Um, but I did pay full price for the ticket, just so you guys know this isn't a sponsored video or hosted. Um, but the experience was just awesome. There are so many times that we go through houses and it's essentially the same thing over and over again. It's basically boo hole, jump out, loud noise, um, and a scare. This wasn't like that at all. Um, they had um, a variety of um, large animatronics, um, but more importantly, they had characters that just interacted with you on every turn. Um, and there was a story to be told as folks went through the uh, the haunt. My neighbor next door is knocking on the wall. Um, the scares were definitely there, um, as well as the storyline, and really well-crafted stories and um, interactions throughout the whole um, experience. There were times that you experienced one character in one of the containers or one of the sets, and they kind of followed along um, and reappeared again um, throughout the experience. So. I, I just genuinely loved the experience. If you guys are in the Atlanta area, I'd fully recommend for you to check them out. Um, this is their fifth year of uh, in existence, and I believe it's it's either the second or third year in their um, full location uh, where they are now. So the haunt itself had things moved around uh, year over year and. Um, different things added to it as well in case you did go to uh, the experience last year as well. Um, the staff was genuinely friendly and uh, it just overall really great experience. It, it lasted a good um, 20 minutes plus um, going through all of the, uh, the rooms and uh, the pricing at least tonight when I went through was about uh, 25 bucks which was really well priced. No conga line experience here, and everything was very personalized um, to the folks that were going through at the time. So, in any event, highly recommend. Thanks a lot for coming along with me. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.